Hello. I'm uh, just doing this little video because I found some uh, things in my office that relate to my audiobook and uh, download book Bowie Day, a short story inspired by a Christmas carol. Not that it's a Christmas story, so I can tell you about this in July, so don't worry about it. But uh, I found the, uh, by the way, you can buy the book and the audiobook in the links in the description of this video. Please do. The audiobook is pay what you like, but pay something. Don't be a dick. Anyway, so what happened, uh, the book only came out, was it this year the book came out? A uh, couple of days before, sadly, David Bowie died, but the idea came to me in December 2013. It's taken me that, it took me that long to get it together. And originally, it came as one idea. I've got all this stuff here. One idea which while I was out walking my dog I wrote on I had my pen with me but I didn't have a notebook with me which is very unusual for me but I wrote on the back of the cigarette packet I wrote Bowie version of Christmas Carol Scrooge doesn't like music until visited by Bowie and I've dated that 5th of December 2013 now if I was walking the dog and managing to write something in broad daylight I'm going to assume December it was probably about four o'clock something like that and I found in my sent emails I found a message that I sent to my friend Gary with the idea because he won't steal the idea it's too late now anyway if I sent it to someone in Hockley they'd have gone with it by now uh, and this was also sent on the 5th of December but this was sent at 25 past 9 in the evening so I'd had I've given it some thought already but if you've read the book, you'll uh, be aware of the concept. It's based on A Christmas Carol, and um, the townspeople are waiting for Bowie Day, a celebration of David Bowie. And uh, the main character in Bowie Day is called David Bowie, but he hates music and hates the real David Bowie and all that sort of thing. And he gets visited by David Bowie, who teaches him the error of his ways. So I've put in this email, David Bowie film idea. Film idea? <laughs> clever um, uh, based on a Christmas Carol very loosely the townspeople are ex excited for Bowie Day an annual day in which everyone dresses as David Bowie and sings his songs all except one person lonely music hating bookseller haven't a name so we'll refer to him as TSP the Scrooge part so I hadn't even called him David Bowie at this point He's not joining in with the celebrations. His assistant keeps telling him to stock music books, but TSP refuses. He also refuses to decorate his shop exterior to celebrate Bowie Day. On arriving home, he spots a face in the front door. He doesn't recognise it at first until he introduces himself. I'm David Bowie. Why don't you like my music? Brackets. This is David Bowie in present day, 66 years old. Bowie warns TSP that he will be visited during the night by three personas. Don't want them to be ghosts, obviously, because Bowie was still alive at the time. And should expect the first at midnight. Now, that isn't in my book. The door knocker thing, that was... Uh, if you've read Christmas Carol, you should have read Christmas Carol, or seen, at least seen the Muppets version of it, you'll know the door knocker reference. That uh, doesn't happen in the book. Persona 1 is Bowie past in full Ziggy Stardust outfit. Persona 1 takes TSP back to his school disco where he is rejected for a dance by the girl he loves. During a David Bowie record, we learn that this caused him to block out musical appreciation. Didn't happen in my book. Not at all. They then visit BBC Television Centre in 1972 and find themselves watching Top of the Pops, uh, in the audience Top of the Pops watching the classic Starman performance. And we learn that the now iconic point to the camera during the line, I had to call someone, so I picked on you. <laughs> Bowie actually pointed at TSP. Don't know, what that's, don't know what that's relevant. By the end of the song, Persona 1 and TSP are singing along to Starman. That's nice. That's the only one I've given some thought to, although I want Persona 1 Ghost of Christmas Past style to visit Live Aid, which he did. In the book, he did actually visit Live Aid. Persona 2, the Ghost of Christmas Present style, takes him to the unveiling of the plaque on Hedden Street, the Victoria and Albert Museum, and to Glastonbury 2001 to show how important and relevant Bowie still is. The future of David Bowie is something nobody can predict. After all, we didn't predict another album, so there is no persona based on Christmas Present, uh, Christmas Future. 
doesn't bear a lot of resemblance to the finished product, really. This all takes place the night before Bowie Day, and when he wakes up, the script goes into full Dickens. Script! I'm still writing a film. Did I think Bowie would appear in this fucking film? I don't know. <laughs> uh, goes into full Dickens. Hey, you there, what day is this? Why, today is Bowie Day, etc. Is a jumpsuit, jumpsuit still in the fancy dress shop window? The Ziggy Stardust one, sir, etc. And it just ends with etc. as well. So that was the idea. Nothing at all in the book. I've got another, I've got some scribble notes here, which I also wrote on the 5th of December. So I can't have had a lot to do on the 5th of December 2013. I really can't. Um, da, 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 da. Scrooge character does not like music and has no interest in David Bowie. Owns a bookshop and reading is his only interest. His assistant wants him to stock CDs and music, but he refuses. But, yeah. So that is the basis. The finished result. Cigarette packet. The, sig the finished result. There's one sheet in my folder as well of handwritten, like an opening thing. January 8th was a special day for the town and its inhabitants. Only, yeah, because that's David Bowie's birthday. This celebration was Bowie Day. This was a joyous day in which everybody dressed as their musical hero and gathered to listen to his music and in the evening watch his films. The preparations took as long as Christmas itself with costumes to be made and a big party to plan. Brilliant. So the finished result of uh, Bowie Day is um, available to... Uh, I've got it in hard copy. If you want a hard copy of it, printed on office paper from where I used to work, you can have one. Uh, if you make a good donation via PayPal on my blog page, steveoliverblog.blogspot.co.uk, you can have a hard copy version. No illustrations or anything. It is literally just a Word document. But maybe, what, if you donate a fiver to the PayPal thing and then email me and say, Bowie Day, please. And this, look, completed 25th of April 2014. So I, I, worked, I didn't work that long on it. But this, I actually wrote completely freeform, beginning to end, and made it up as I went along uh, during a trial. Because there's not it's a lot to do. And uh, I've got some notes on there as well that says, Did Nick Kershaw play Live Aid? No. Bloody idea what that's about. I think there is a, a little joke in there with, um, in, the, in the actual book, there is a joke about that. But, uh, yeah, you can't have that. But you can order, if you want, a hard copy to read if you don't like Kindles. And that goes in there. So yeah, interesting, isn't it? So the book is available to download on the Kindle. And the audio book is available to uh, get from my Bandcamp page. And um, I'll put these back in here before I lose them. The audio book is available to download from my Bandcamp page. And uh, why not enjoy and see how different the book is. It was interesting to find this all this time later and realise how different the book was. Uh, when it finished, which I suppose is only right, really, but uh, yeah, there you go. Bowie Day, short story based on a Christmas carol. Not a Christmassy story at all, but um, essential reading or listening to anyone who is a fan of David Bowie. Bye!